hello, my name is Jason Bauman. I'm Assistant Director for Collection Development for the New York Public Library and Coordinator of the Library's LGBTQ Initiative. And I'm also the curator of this exhibition. So in the simplest sense, the Stonewall Inn was a bar in the West Village in the 1960s. Um, it was an illegal establishment that was patronized by LGBTQ patrons um, and a wide range of different people. Um, the bar was owned by the Mafia and was often raided by the police, both because it didn't have a liquor license and was operating illegally, but also to harass LGBTQ patrons who were in the bar. In June of 1969, there was, in, later in that month, there was a raid of the Stonewall Inn. Um, the police expected it to be a routine raid, and it really wasn't because the patrons in that moment decided to fight back and it led to about a week of rioting and protests in the West Village. And activists, particularly from the Manicheen Society of New York, which was a gay activist organization that had been operating for almost 10 years in New York City, really seized upon the riots, um, publicized the riots, and used them as a way to draw in a whole new generation of activists into the emerging LGBTQ activism of the time. So I, I think another part of the context of, of Stonewall and why the riots happened is you had queer youth living in the village at that time, many who were, whom were disenfranchised, some who might be homeless, some who uh, gender nonconforming and were really part of a counterculture that was in, emerging in the village at that time, as well as you had the student movement, the anti-war movement. There was also the African-American Civil Rights Movement, which was a huge influence on LGBTQ politics in the 1960s and 70s. And so the community was really primed to fight back and have this conflict with police and with the authorities. I think it was a turning point. It wasn't the first time that uh, queer people had fought back, but because the activists really embraced that moment, they turned it into this turning point. Um, after Stonewall, in the months that followed, a, a huge number of people joined the movement inspired by the Stonewall riots, and they started organizations like the Gay Liberation Front, the Gay Activists Alliance, uh, the Radical Lesbians, Street Transvestites Action Revolutionaries, and so this whole new queer political culture emerged in New York City, um, fueled by the riots and also um, inspired by them. The exhibition's divided into four pieces, so a section on protests, a section on called In Print, that's about the LGBTQ press, a section on love, and a section on bars. The most important thing I want people to come away from the exhibition with is to be inspired to be politically active themselves. I think the most the clearest thing that you see from the show is that our society changed because LGBTQ people got involved politically and they changed our society. And I want people to be inspired to know that they can make a difference today.